your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Thank you for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study. We appreciate so much you joining us each day, and we hope you share this with your friends. Uh, encourage them to watch your daily 180 either on Facebook or on YouTube at your daily 180. And you might want to hit the share button and share it with your friends and encourage them to study along with us. This week we're looking at James chapter 4 verses 1 through 6 and we're talking about worldliness and the fact that worldliness does not need to be part of our life. And when we talk about worldliness, we're talking about following the systems of this world. You know, I could give you a whole laundry list of things that we might consider to be worldly, and I would probably still miss something that you're struggling with. Ultimately, the idea of following the worldly system is the idea that you're doing something contrary to the will of God. And it is expensive. I am telling you, it is so expensive to follow the world system. And I'm not talking about in dollars and cents, but what it costs us in our relationships, what it costs us in terms of what happens in our lives. Look at verse number one of chapter four. Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? Affection for worldly pleasures cause strife among the best of friends. When you find a home where people are following the world standards, you're going to find a home where there are problems. As a matter of fact, if you go back to chapter 3, verse number 16, for where, for where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. That's the pattern of the world. Selfishness and envy. And he's saying, that's where wars and fights come from. But not only that, it will cause us to do shameful things. Look at verse number 2. You lust and you do not have, you murder, and you covet, and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have, because you do not ask. When someone says, well, I've never committed a murder, are you willing to assassinate the character of another person to get what you want? Are you willing to undermine another person just to fulfill your own selfish, envious desires? Uh, I think that's the idea there. And then furthermore, I want you to notice in verse number three, that when we live according to the systems of this world, verse number three, we shut the door of prayer. Look at verse number three. You ask and you do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. What a horrible thing. It seems so wise to follow the systems of this world, but have you ever thought about what it cost you? Thank you for being with us. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.